do my honey we are about to do us a nice flat quick weave with the bang bang thing yo stinking butt uh i'm doing a short quick weave today with the bang bang but it's gonna be a short choppy bang or whatever and we're gonna be using 613 here and we're gonna be dyeing it this color is jade. I don't know what color it is, okay? I was going for a more mint green shade, but this was gonna be like my mint green shade, right? But if you look, this is mint green. Versus this is blue, my honey, right? So I really want mint green, but I know I've seen in the comments one of my honey says something about a blue. So we don't know what color blue this is, but this is what we're going for today because it's closest to blue, then it will be green, it looks like, and then my honeys could be satisfied to see any type of blue, even though this was like a powder bluey, but for real, it was supposed to be gray. You know, grandma gray, when they hair, um, they dye their hair and it'd be this color and it'd be gray, it'd be so cute to me. So we did this and that's cool. So right now, my honeys, we are about to turn this <laughs> into this okay and five four three two this is the tar hair that we always use it is 613 and dr means dark roots okay so this is a bigger box because this one is two four and six inches okay it's three sections so it comes like that and this will be your two inches okay you know we use that for the little neck part this is your four inches, okay? We use that as accordingly when we run out of the little neck part. And then here goes our uh, dark root. This one is six inches. So I figure we can use this one as a nice bang instead of actually having to go and buy a half a pack of eight inch to make the bang appear long and full and all of that. You can curl this hair, straighten it and all of that. And I do like that root. So when we dye this, whatever blue is about to be, that's gonna be real sexy with that root like that, my honeys. But anywho, we got our water and this is hot faucet water. We're gonna go in with Jade. And then we're gonna, let me see. Stir Jade up. Perfect. I feel like the more water you use, my honeys, the more diluted you will be diluting that color. I don't even know if this is be considered too much water, but I know that I'm gonna use this whole bottle of color. If it's not enough water, could uh, add more. I'm just using this to um stir it up. Get all that color mixed in that water. You don't want to have any clumps of color still in her, even though this is pretty dark and you can't tell. You just go ahead and start. Now what you could use, my honeys, is a good whisk. If you use a good whisk, you know for sure that you know everything is everything. But as I'm looking through the, cl the, the clear glass, okay? Everything seems to look mixed, nice and mixed, so. We're dumping everything in here all at one time because we don't want nothing to suck up the color before the other. And when it's all said and done, I want my color to stand out all through the style. The drop of it just fell on the hair, look. And that's blue. So we about to see. But I want to open up all of this, so, and I'm putting everything in. I am very versatile, my honeys. I love you know, doing different stuff, stepping outside my box. I don't have a problem with that. And it is what it is. I 
I'm gonna take the back of this comb because it has like, you know, the skinny point. And I'm gonna stir in between these tracks and make sure it's getting every little hair. Only because I don't have a glove on, so I'm not going in breaking it down. So I know that, you know, I'm starting to play with more color on this channel, and guess what? In the process of me doing so, my honeys, before it's all said and done, I'm gonna notice stuff down pat, okay? Cause color is real tricky, it's very tricky. And if I did want this to be another color and some sort like a little bit off from this of what it already is, I can go in with another color dye and mix with this and then get the desired color I want. But you gotta know the science of it, you know what I'm saying? So we gonna work, we gonna mess up, we gonna want this color and it come out another color and we not no, you know you have to learn from your mistakes so we're just gonna sit here my honeys and we're gonna be playing with this stuff so that's why I keep thinking of what colors what colors is next and da 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 da, -da. so y'all let me know um, what y'all would like to see next as far as color go and all of that I'll just go ahead and kind of take this out and then um, you know drain it and then sit it in front of my heater on top of a tile and go from there so while that's doing that my honeys we can go off in the bathroom and uh get our hair together to get ready for the install. So let's go. So as you know, my honeys, I'm doing nothing but molding my hair for this quick weave. I wanted my bump in the back. Anytime I do a flat quick weave, I put my bump in the back right there at that occipital bone because it gives the back that little hump so that it looks natural, like it goes flat into the neck or whatever. But I have a video on this very, very detailed, so I will link it somewhere right here in the courts. But then again, you know, you want to swoop all your hair to the front or whatever, just to give it that bald look. And if you got long hair, you got to you got to swoop it and loop it and do all that, my honeys, okay? <laughs> so I just swooped it all to the front, and I threw that cap over it before it starts reverting, you know, coming flat. And here we go, my honeys. This should be really interesting with this one, okay? <laughs> Anywho, I pushed all the gel and mushed it into the cap so therefore it would stick to my head like you would do the, um, you know, put that gas to be all around it. But I didn't have to. I just put the gas to be around my edge area and my nape area so therefore I could just cut it off like a little cap. At this point right here too, you will probably want to sew that down because the minute that you start sweating and everything, that cap will come right off. Okay, so now we're just starting to install these tracks. And like I said, I have a video, so I will post it and I go into detail about how you're going to lay them tracks and not let them lay you, okay? Perfect. You know, since he wanted to just keep popping up, okay, uh, he's gonna have to help. So, uh, you know, I'm not upstairs with my other mirrors. I didn't have no way to look and see up there, so I just made him hold that mirror up. 
so I could see what the heck I was doing and clearly he had no problem doing so so <laughs> when I mean to tell you my honey that this is about to get so interestingly funny because he just would not leave the scene <laughs> Like, he really wanted me all to himself. He wanted me to get up out of that little mirror. And he probably really thought I was going out or about to go visit somebody or have something going on. And clearly, that's not the case. I'm just doing what I do for my honeys. And he was straight trying to kind of stop me because it was getting later and later. And therefore, I wouldn't be going anywhere because time done passed me by. But <laughs> we got to argue. <laughs> I'm looking at this cracking up because we argued the whole video. He really wanted to help me. Like, he really wanted to shave the back. And, you know, this is more like a barber type style. So, any type of man that's a barber want to be involved and do some cutting. And I'm like, no. And I'm doing this for my honey. They want to see me do it. And there he is, still in kisses and got all that hair in his mouth. That's what he get, trying to be all in my business. But, anywho, my honey. I ain't doing nothing but, like I said, um, cutting this hair down, trying to get it down. And, you know, once you wet it um, and do all that soaking, you take the curl pattern out. So, it just looked it like, you know, it had no curl at all to it. But we're going to fix all of that. And um, that's pretty tricky when you do the uh, watercolor method because you really got to go in and restyle that hair. That hair is bought style. Like, it's already got a style and a bump to it. And it takes it all out and leaves it just looking straggly raggedy. So, you got to go in and actually style this hair, do this hair. I think I got, like, two videos up of me actually um, using the same hair, styling it, profiling it, or whatever. So if you're interested to kind of just see more details, we're going to refer back to that. I feel like I was just showing my honeys, you know, that you can use that 613 here and make any color you want, do what you got to do. But I do love this color. It's, we called it the Galaxy. Well, he actually named it and said it's the Galaxy. Okay, so I like that, that name. I said, welcome to the Galaxy or <laughs> whatever. But yeah, he, he trying to cut the hair, but you definitely can't flat iron it, okay? Because he's just going straight. Give me my flat iron, let me do what I got to do. Excuse me. But it's like we got to argue through the whole video. <laughs> he would not leave me alone, my honey's OMG. Like, you got to love it. But anywho, just to kind of help flatten that hair out and everything since the curl pattern is gone. You know, I put that mousse on there so I could just mold it down straight. So, therefore, when I go in and cut on it, it will appear flat. And also, you know, when I put any curl to it, I'm not putting curl to straggly, raggedy hairs. You know, it's molded straight. So, y'all make sure y'all go check out kaleshairandbeauty.com and shop for your daily essentials. You know, lashes, bonnets, these little head strips I have help to lay them edges. Lay anything pretty much you're trying to lay. And much, much more, my honeys, okay? Leave me a message when you get there as well because I do reach out to my honeys from any platform that I have. Perfect. the curl pattern was took out of the hair itself my honey you know I had to go back in and kind of bump everything to make it a style okay so at this point you know I rough I really was rough cutting it when I first cut it now that I'm straightening everything out it's never a done deal you have to go in and fix anything that's wasn't cut properly you know what i'm saying or anything that can help the style so i felt like the bang was you know at least kind of too long and i didn't want it straight across i wanted it to look more choppy so that's why i'm going in point cut in which the scissors are up and down and that way i'm just kind of making my bang choppy then i'm going in with that heat to take out the little you know rock girl look <laughs> whatever the little straightness i want to have a little bump to it but then again, I want to have some curl to it as well. So we're going to go in a little bit later with a different curling iron. And then we're going to um, put some bumps to it, some curls to the top and everything. And here he go. Y'all know I got to have me a drink after this one. Like... <laughs>
my aunties ain't never seen nobody in my videos this much like oh wow but i don't know my aunties i feel like y'all may have to get used to it because this is someone that i am dating and you know he's gonna have to get used to me recording as well because this is not playtime okay <laughs> this is a real thing i don't have all day to sit here and do this and being that when i record my honey y'all know i have to do it right like if i was just doing my regular hair regular makeup i'd throw that stuff on so quick but when i'm actually showing my honeys what's going on i have steps okay i don't have all day to do this and then don't don't get on editing my honeys if i'm laying there editing or something he wants all the time He's gonna come like, come here, baby, uh, let's do this. Come on, baby, let's do that. He stops me and do all of that. So I'm definitely gonna have to get him in routine with what's going on with Kale's world as far as my honeys go, okay? I'm never gonna neglect you guys for nobody, all right? But he, he doesn't get it yet, especially in this video, but he will soon understand and realize. Now, these are the two flat arts that I have, the smallest ones I have. Them little pencil ones was good for the back. Those thicker ones is what's going to be good for my sides. Okay, you see the bang is long enough for my regular blue flat arm. But when you hit them sides and that back, we have to put curl and life back into this hair, you know. So I have three different size flat arms that I'm using just to achieve the look that I am trying to get, all right. So he did help me out a lot in this video or whatever. And it wasn't by choice, my honey. He was going to demand it. Like, <laughs> he was not going to leave me alone or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? I need a drink. Go get some liquor and boom. Okay, so by the end of this video, me and him was good and drunk. <laughs> and I wasn't really, you know, argumentative anymore. Like, move, go, look. We was playing, look at us. <laughs> Now we just cool playing. But at first, my honeys, I was serious. Like, uh-uh, you got to get out of my video. I need to do this for my honeys. He said, your honeys? Yeah, my honeys. But then the liquor kind of just made everything better, okay? It took the stress off of me of him just actually in my way. But naturally, he wasn't in my way. He was trying to help, okay? So it, the liquor helped me to say, let the man help you. He just want to help. Look at him. Just want to help and do anything. And he wasn't doing a good job at it. I mean, of course, cutting it because that's what he liked to do. He cuts hair. But you weren't about to flat on it and I was going to be satisfied. Uh-uh. Let me do it. So, anywho, my honeys. <laughs> it's enough about that. But, um, we took some time on this style, especially because, you know, he was there. So, we kept stopping and... We done stopped and took a couple rides, and you know, that's what I'm saying. He draped me off. I got draped. Come ride with me over here. Oh, okay. And then I go ride with you half head done and everything. But by the time we got back, you know, I had a chance to play with it and work with it and cut it and make it right. Because I was just like, oh, there's no curl in this hair. I don't know how this is about to turn out. But it turned out good, my honey. Like, I'm very, very satisfied with it or whatever. And, yes, he loved it. And I know you guys will, too. So, just stay tuned, my honey, because that finished look is coming up, honey. Perfect. I really really love how this came out if there was anything that I could change about the look it would be nothing okay <laughs> make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram and make sure you like comment share and subscribe and hit the notification bell because you do not want to miss what is coming up in Kale's Nation and at this point in the video <laughs> I will see my honeys on the next one <laughs>
the next one. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you guys. I'm always late with it, my honeys. I love you guys so much, though. Bye-bye.